Today we're going to be talking about CLL therapies as well as prognostic testing here at ASH 2018. It's been a really exciting ASH meeting for CLL therapies. There's been a couple of oral sessions so far and we've started to learn more information in terms of long-term follow-up about, follow about combinations such as the combination of ibrutinib plus venetoclax in the front line as well as in the relapse refractory setting seeing incredibly durable responses and deep remissions. We've also had some updates about CAR T-cell therapies in patients with CLL where there seems to be a signal that patients should be receiving the BTK inhibitor ibrutinib in order to enhance responses and also minimize toxicities. We had a small amount of information presented to date so far about Richter's transformation. Looking at novel agents in combinations with immune checkpoint inhibitors, where we're seeing maybe those checkpoint inhibitors by themselves weren't enough, but when you combine them with PI3K inhibitors like umbrilisib or the BTK inhibitor ibrutinib, you start to see durable responses and deeper remissions for those patients. We've also had some updates regarding prognostic testing. There'll be an abstract presented at the late-breaking session looking at venetoclax resistance and mutations which may confer resistance to venetoclax. We also had a real-world evidence abstract presented as a poster specifically looking at patterns of prognostic testing for patients with CLL. Interestingly, for patients who are receiving novel therapies or chemotherapies, there are very few the, the proportion of patients is actually quite small who are having the appropriate prognostic testing performed. Small numbers of patients having FISH or cytogenetics or IGHV mutational testing. This is a great opportunity for education, especially since most of the guidelines that are available, including NCCN, IWCLL, so professional societies are all recommending that testing not only to help prognosticate patients, but also to guide treatment selection. So in general, we're seeing deeper responses, interesting combinations, interesting ways to use CAR T cells which may work better and really addressing those patient populations where there are needs, particularly resistance to venetoclax and Richter's transformation.